Welcome to my channel. I'm Cyrox9, and this is Daily Rambles. Oh, sorry about that. I had to move my mic up a little bit more. Um, yes, I have a Scooby-Doo blanket on. I'm actually kind of cold. I dialed back the um, air a little bit because it was hot as nest yesterday. So that's why I'm wearing this blanket, and it's a little bit cooler outside. So I kind of had to bump up the air so it'll stop, but it's still kind of cold. So. This awkward episode, <laughs> we'll be going over Arrow, and the episode is called Unfinished Business. Of course, I got my notes. So, and I also wear glasses, and I'm going to take them off and try to read because I'm kind of um, I can see I can see better up close, and I can't see far away. So anyway, let's jump right in. So we start this episode kind of awkward. It's funny if I, if I notice I wrote a fly girl, but I'm going to put a uh, high girl. Um, she's like high as a kite, just dancing in the middle of the highway, and, and a car hits her, she dies. It turns out it is actually vertigo. And um, then we, then um, there's a police report, and so Lance goes to visit the camp. And he's just incoherent as hell. And so um, before that, I have um, air drops in before then. And he doesn't get anything out of him either. So um, he's just inc incoherent as hell. And then we go to a flashback where Shadow is training. And then um, it's just Shadow that's training. We're showing her like, her training montage. And that girl can do some stuff. Ooh. Anyway, then we go back to present day and... Oliver is furious at this because he's like, how many times do I have to go after this person? And then I... Okay, so they come with a plan and they plan to... Uh, so Diggle goes undercover and he, um, to buy some vertigo for our drug dealers and so he has like uh anyway he goes to get the drugs and so the money he gives them he put trackers in the bills he gave to the drug dealers and then felicity and diggle um have a um side project going on with deadshot and but they don't will tell oliver about this and then um lance questions tommy because the last uh, person that she texted was Tommy saying, can you hook me up? And so there's a whole blowout between that and Laura, because Laura's right there. And Quentin just kind of putting his foot in his mouth. And then we have a flashback scene where Shadow trains Oliver with um, hitting water in a bowl. And so he's like, this is pointless as shit. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Basically. And then um, we go back to the present, and then Arrow uh, interrupts the drug deal. And um, one of the homeless people, because basically they're targeting the homeless people to experiment on how well the drug is doing before they mass marketed it. So then um, one of them gets away, and it's a high, the man is super high at the aquarium, and basically steals um, a gun from. Uh, the security also, I don't know why security has a gun at an aquarium. Why do you have, that doesn't make any sense really. So I was like, what's happened with that? Anyway, so um, basically um, Felicity finds the security camera, so Arrow goes. And he tries to get, um, tries to help the guy, but the guy took some more pills before the chase happened. And so he dies from an overdose. And Oliver blames himself all about the vertigo because he could have put an arrow in him the first time, but he didn't. And Diggle meets with Lila to get uh, to give info on this shot. So it's like Lila, I think it's Lila's first intro. I can't quite remember because I've been watching a lot of episodes, and I mean a lot, a lot of episodes. 
and High Man Dies on Overdose. Um, so the High Man Dies on the Overdose, and then um, there's a flashback where uh, Shadow says um, Yafe was a was the fall guy. I was like, oh, I can't read my handwriting sometimes. He was a fall guy. So basically, he was like in this army that uh, wanted to, um, get, I guess, get China independent, and he got busted and got sent to his prison. So um, they want to use, um, Fires wants to use him as a fall guy because he was sent to the prison for the chase that they're going to do. And then we go back to the present, and Lance is about to. Um, Lance is about to go down in the club um, where Oliver's secret base is. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll say secret base. Clubhouse, I don't know. I don't want to say secret base because it sounds better. So he goes down to the secret base and Tommy um, knew about it because he got a search warrant. Um, before the search warrant, he moved everything and so there's nothing but club stuff like wine, chairs, like just extra bulk stuff. And then Tommy and Oliver argue when um, Lance finds out that 10000 was um, missing from their account. That's because uh, Tommy paid off the, the code inspector because um, they didn't do downstairs for obvious reasons. And um, so Tommy and Oliver argue about it because like, well, you, and Tommy's like, well, you've had an error for people. So I didn't, I didn't know what you're going to do to me. And that's Tommy's mentality on this whole thing. And then Oliver and Dig argue because argue, Dig was doing his own separate little side project with Deadshot and he's not telling Oliver about it. And so there was an argument there. And then Oliver and Felicity figure out where the account is. And then Arrow shows up at the mental institution because he didn't actually escape from the middle hospital. He actually was there the whole time because he's still a freaking vegetable. And the doctor that treated him is the mastermind because he reverse engineered his kidneys because the kidneys still had the vent on the, uh, hello, what, vertigo in him. So he re reverse engineered it and added some other stuff in there. So then um, he has Oliver um, strapped to a table and jets him with some vertigo. And then I uh, dig, um, then Oliver escapes and Dig comes to the rescue. And um, then Oliver injects the serum, uh, the serum in his um, body to help him counteract the effects of the vertigo. And then uh, Dig will electrocute someone the bad guy's his brain. He straight up gets the, the, and did it on the guy's head and electrocutes his brain. So now he's a vegetable. And then um, Oliver kills the doctor, but he doesn't kill the cow because Tom, I mean, because um, he's a vegetable, so he's not really going to do anything. And then uh, we cut to Tommy and he quits. And then Tommy shows up to his dad's office and asks for a job. And that's the end of the episode. Actually, finishes under 10 minutes. And a lot happened in this episode. I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. Really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I like how er how everything's going. I like the fight scenes. And like just the chemistry between the actors. You, it feels genuine. It doesn't feel like a stupid, you know, like a show show. Like. They're just going through. They actually have actual chemistry, so you believe everything that they're going through. So it translates well through the TV. So I really do appreciate that. And that's pretty much what you want to do it for me. It's an A plus episode. So um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see what I can do about the coolness in this house. <sighs> anyway. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, comment down below on what you like and what you didn't like. That looks ridiculous wearing this because I don't because I feel like I do. So uh, let me know down below what you think and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye everybody.